What's up guys? Welcome back to Carmania. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about this 2005 Subaru Forester. This is the XS trim and uh, I'll try to talk everything I know about this car, uh, which is my cousin's car and he loves it. So let's see why he does love this car and uh, I'll try to talk everything about it, okay? So let's go to the video. Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about this 2005 Subaru Forester. This is the XS trim. So this car got a 2.5 liter engine aspirated four cylinders. This is not the turbo version, the XT. And uh, well, this car is my cousin's. He owns this car for almost two years now. Of course, I asked him some questions before make, making this video. As you can see, uh, this car carries a baby. Many people with family, children may search for this car. You got uh, all wheels drive here. And uh, well, we may try to talk a little bit about living with this car. Is that good? Is that worth it? Well, let's see. So starting here in the front part of the vehicle, uh, this is a facelift version of the second generation Forester. This car uh, was previously from the north of the United States, maybe New York, Massachusetts, something like that. So this car suffered a little with rust because of the salt that we may uh, find encounter on that states. And uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of that here. You can see there is, uh, you may suffer a little with rust. These cars were very popular in the north of the states because of this all wheel drive system. It's very popular there. Here we can check the all seasons tire. The design of it is not a, I mean, something revolutionary, but uh, it's quite nice. Uh, it looks like, <laughs> I read some articles saying it looks like a cereal box over wheels, but uh, it's pleasant, right? Something which is important to say is that this car got five stars on the safety test. This is very important if you're planning to carry your family on that. So let's talk about a little about the interior of the car. And as you can see, there is no frame on the door and that makes this car a little noisy. Uh, and I've seen some tutorials on YouTube how to improve that, which seems to be a little uh, rubber over here. But, uh, well, this is different and uh, makes the car noisier, unfortunately, this absence of uh, this frame here. Uh, and the rest, the the materials are pretty nice use it here you know uh, automatic windows mirror everything you got this different kind of net here uh, that holds your stuffs on the door you got automatic seats as you can see here and uh, on this case on this car you got this fabric mixed with leather here uh, seats very comfortable by the way so let's turn on the car and see what is over here for us so here in the cluster you can see there we got the check engine light on and that makes the cruise control uh doesn't work because of that so uh, i was talking to my cousin and he told me that uh, there is some air leakage on the cylinder number four which is a very common problem so you have to put a air hose to check where is this leak 
and uh, this light is on because of that but he had no time enough to check it and we can check now that this car got 173 almost 74,000 miles on it well this is a pretty reliable car I was asking him if he recommends and he said strongly recommend uh, he had trouble with the exhaust he had trouble with this air leakage but uh seems to be stuff that are not like too severe so even with these issues he loves the car he says he recommended uh and let's check a little more here we got the stereo with six disc cd changer and uh, the air conditioning controls which are very easy to use uh it is not digital but you got the temperatures here so this transmission got four speeds and uh works pretty well something very useful are these uh butt heaters here seat heater <laughs> uh in the winter well that's pretty good here we can put your cups and another holder here right so we got the mirror here and another place to put your stuff and over here you got two glasses holders good very practical and uh, something I think is pretty nice is this compass here in the mirror and unfortunately we got no Bluetooth on this stereo but let's remember we're talking about maybe almost 20 years ago right another holder here on the dashboard so try to go again and let's go to the back seat well as you can see uh, my cousin's child uh, kid chair here uh, doesn't left much room and uh, I won't lie if you have a, a kid's chair like this it won't be a very comfortable back here let me close it uh, I'm not a big guy far from that but you know I'm really really uh, tight here you know so and if you're planning to carry three people here make sure they're not their kids I feel really uncomfortable here I'm very tight with uh, this chair for kids right so uh, make sure you, you won't need too much room in the back seat for for example three adults that won't fit okay but uh if you need less than that maybe this is the right car at least we got space for our head here well, i won't be able to show you the trunk but i'll put on a video the, its capacity it's a very very generous uh trunk so you can consider that from here we you can see the the back traction the the rear traction uh, as I said before this car got the all-wheel drive which make it very popular popular in snowy places well just for the script this rear window wiper doesn't work here we have another point of rust and last but not least let's check the horde of this Subaru here it is so different from the traditional Subaru engines are boxer so this means they are symmetrical and you got in this case uh, two cylinders in each side uh, despite of these uh, traditional cars uh, when you got four cylinders in the same side and that brings uh, more balance to the car and to its dynamical behavior and uh, as I said before this is a 2.5 liter 165 horsepower so my cousin told me that he had an issue with the suspension uh, because of rust as I said before this car was from the north and uh, well that's something you need to worry if you're searching for a Forester so in general we can consider this is a reliable car and this the cost effective of it 
it's not bad at all so if you're searching and uh, maybe thinking about a Forester well check the shape of the car but uh, it seems to be a pretty nice car pretty good car uh, mainly if you live in the north or snowy places because of the behavior of these cars they are very efficient on that conditions about the fuel consumption I'm gonna put on a video uh, the average that these cars does but basically my my cousin told me that this is kind of a 300 miles with a 14 gallons an average something uh, close to that and something which is maybe nice to say is that my cousin told me that he replaced the brake pads by himself at his uh, home so at this point the maintenance is not too complex you can do this kind of stuff by yourself at your home not bad well that's it uh, i try to do my best to show these cars i hope you guys like it if you have any question just write in the comment section we try to uh to soothe your your doubt any question you have and uh, thank you for watching and take care guys see you in the next video at carmania bye